We were approved, y'all! <laughs>
You can build a box around it, maybe a little steps to get up to get on top of the barrels. Now you might want to do that if it's indoors because if it's outdoors, it might freeze. So the second way you can design it is to sink them into the ground. You just have a little box over it. Now, at first I was thinking of sinking them into the ground because they're gonna be outside. But then I was thinking, man, that's gonna be a lot of work. Three barrels, putting them into the ground. It's a lot of digging. Now, you know I love digging, but I gotta get these projects done. But then I was thinking, I got some extra wood lying around from a project previously that I'm not using anymore. Maybe I could use that to build a box. Problem is, the barrels are just a little too high for the wood I have. So what I'm gonna do here is maybe do a hybrid. Maybe dig down about 10 inches, put each of the barrels in there, and then build a box around it. So we're gonna do a little hybrid. Partially in, partially out, small box, three barrel composting system, here we go. Okay, so I'm pretty much here out in the field where this thing is going to be. Just kind of like right behind the garden space that we built. Just slice a couple feet off of this thing and it should be good to go. Then I have another board. That'll easily be, give me another six feet. One in front, one on top. And then just a couple of two foot boards in between. It should be a really easy build. Should go quick. Oh yeah, digging videos have returned. Luckily I don't have to go too deep. I'm going 10 inches, sink these barrels in just a little bit. It should be a piece of cake. So this is going to be the front of my box and basically we'll have our butts pointed to the road. Front toward the house, butts toward the road. Kind of cool thing about using this wood from this last project is I already painted it so it's already slightly protected here. Commence reverse digging. I think we're looking good. So one kind of cool thing about this, sinking them in a little bit, is getting them into the ground like that a little bit. I think it'll help keep it a little warmer, keep it from freezing during the winter, and uh, keep them a little more stable. I gotta put some holes on the top there, get a little toilet seat attached, and I think we'll be just about ready. Another little addition I'm gonna make here is just throwing in some plywood in between a couple of the barrels to add for additional support. Yeah, I just think it'll give a little extra support to the lid going on top. All right, so I'm just gonna add some holes here for my vents. So I'm gonna drill some holes in here so I can add the toilet seat, and then I should be able to add these to my box. Okay, now I'm gonna make a vent from this thing. And I'm gonna use materials that I used for vents for the water tank, just some ABS pieces, a little bit of ABS pipe, one and a half inch, 90 degree elbow, an adapter, another piece of ABS pipe with a screen attached to it. And it should stick in like so. Creating a little bit of a vent. I could put this piece on the bottom just to keep it from slipping out. Got my second one here. And I think my boards are ready to be attached. 
I just used some screws to attach the uh, panels to the box. But later on, I might attach some hinges. Maybe that'll make it easier to open up the flaps and empty out the barrels or whatnot. Now that I got the uh, top attached, I'm going to attach the back. For the last little piece of this build, I'm going to take that cover, that grace build, give a little privacy. Because why not? You want a little privacy when you're doing your business in the middle of nowhere. A little more privacy, maybe. Okay for the taller people, but uh, could possibly put another board on it. It's definitely usable. You gotta sit on the throne, girl. Comfy. <laughs> so with this final step, man, I'm calling this build done. Yeah, if we really want to use it right now, uh, I'd probably want to finish off this, kind of make it look a little shed. A little outhouse, if you will. Of course, I might want to paint these to finish it off. A couple little additions that I could add. You can screen the barrels that you're not using. Put a screen over it to kind of keep any insects out. It might be a good idea. Another addition I've seen people do is put weather stripping around the edge of the seat and also around the edge of the cover. That'll also help keep any insects out of there. Of course, I added two vent pipes in here. And if that's not enough, you could always put a third, a larger vent that comes from the toilet up and out if you need it. Just some extra additions that you might want to think about adding to your build. But this is it, and I'm, I'm hoping that this little build here, quick, easy, I hope it'll pass inspections. And then uh, we'll be one step closer to building the house. All right, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about how this three barrel compost system is even supposed to work. Before you get into any kind of humanure composting, I would definitely recommend reading the humanure handbook and you can find that online there are even free versions if you don't want to spend the money you could pick yourself up a hard copy that helps out joe jenkins <laughs> but this uh, this system is very simple it's just the, the barrel goes in the ground you do your business you cover it up with cover material uh, much like you would find in the humanure handbook and you use one barrel until it fills up then you move over to the second barrel do your business in there till it fills up and you keep moving down the line to the third barrel. So when you're just about done with the third one, this first one should be all ready to go. You can pull out that material, start the whole process over again. Pretty simple. Three barrels. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this build. I hope it helps give you some ideas about something you can do uh, out on your homestead, out on your off-grid property. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Uh, Jess? Little help? <laughs>